talked about the electromagnetic radiations that uh, is in our house from the different uh, appliances and equipment. But now we want to go in and to understand basically a basic course and how the brain works. Of course, as you can see, this is the brain split in half. But in the brain, as you'll see on the next chart, these are the typical nerve cell. And as they come down, and all the way around, and then out at the end here, each one could have four or five, they call it synoptic gaps. This is where the communication is. So down in this corner is you have what I call GILA cells. There is only about 1 to 50 trillion of these cells in the brain. The brain has 100 billion. The important thing about the whole uh, presentation here is talking about the limbic system of the brain. The limbic system communicates through the thalamus, which I'm pointing to here, and goes out to the frontal cortex of the brain. This is where all the decision making takes place. This next slide is a picture of the limbic system where it starts in the middle of the brain. Now this brain, as you know, is the world's greatest computer. It's just unbelievable when you study this. But I'm going to show you what the limbic system controls. Happiness, uh, smelling, and sensory input, pleasure, and addiction, and requires for decision making. Now the reason that the limbic system controls all those, and the autism children cannot do any, very few of those or any of those, is because they've set two to four hours for half of their life in front of a t television that radiates electromagnetic radiation and gives their frontal lobe, the front of their brain, a electronic lobotomy. And it's terrible. It's true. This chart here explains the electronics of the action potentials. I want to point out we start out at minus 70 millivolts. When we get a stimulus, what happens is this Na is sodium, sodium channel opens, potassium closes, and we trigger and we go up to a plus 30 millivolts level. All these are very, very low voltage, and that's the whole endeavor of my research here is to show you that the 100 billion neuron cells are operating at minus 70 to a plus 30 millivolts, a thousandth of a volt. The action potential comes down the neuron through here. They've showed you in detail, a very large detail, of how it's perpetuated through the center of the cell and out to the end to the synoptic clip. And at this time, the voltage fires a chemical reaction, and it's a chemical reaction that goes across this opening to enable the next neuron.